We have an event today with the Moto Guzzi Motorcycle Company. Uh, it's a really neat event. Uh, Moto Guzzi, an Italian motorcycle manufacturer from Italy, has a big presence here in the New York area, and Billy Joel's a big fan of the bikes, as am I myself. And they invited us up to talk to the press about the importance of cafe racer motorcycles and why Moto Guzzi are back on top. And um, we're going to have some press here. We'll answer some questions, go around the shop, look at the motorcycles, and then we'll have general public come on in afterwards, walk around and see the new Moto Guzzi motorcycles. My name's Mike Seat. I'm publisher of Cafe Racer Magazine and host and producer of Cafe Racer TV on Discovery Channel. Yeah, we actually met Billy. Uh, Billy called our magazine's editorial offices one day and said, hey, is this Cafe Racer? This is Billy Joel. And I said, really, this is Bruce Springsteen. He goes, no, no, really, this is Billy Joel. But the funny thing was, we talked for about an hour, and we never talked about showbiz or music. We talked about transmissions, gearing, chains, sprockets, that kind of thing, because Billy's a genuine gearhead. He's really into it. And I think that's something, he opened the shop here in Oyster Bay called 20th Century Cycles. It's a place where people, super minded gearheads, can meet and talk and admire and ride motorcycles. In, in Europe, we're called cafe racers. Kids wanted bikes that look like they're racing, uh, you know, race winner hero bikes, uh, like from Isle of Man uh, or from Grand Prix bikes, and they would they would take in, fairly inexpensive stock bikes and try to, you know, get a lower handlebar on it. They would try to make it look more like a racing bike. And that, that, those ended up being cafe racers. In the States, we had bigger motorcycles. Um, so we, the way to make those faster was to knock parts off of them. They called them bobbers. This is before choppers became a, a look. You would chop parts off, you would bob parts. They made the bikes go faster, they could climb hills on them. Uh, and they started to look like hot rods. That was, and that's the difference between the American hot bike and the, the European hot bike. Um, so there's a, there's kind of a kinship between bobbers and cafe racers. Cafe racers are more like a racing bike. Your seating position is more like a racing bike. Bobbers is more of a street bike that's been souped up, let's put it that way. I tend to like a retro styling. I like the way new things work. I like the way old things look. So I got interested in, um, in Moto Guzzi's uh, and, and cafe racing, uh, cafe racers in general. I bought my first Moto Guzzi in the, in the late 70s. It was a V50, which is a 500cc twin um, Italian nice kind of sexy looking bike and um, I, I noticed sometimes the, when I get written up uh, the story about me riding on a motorcycle he jumped on his chopper which drives me crazy I hate choppers <laughs> I would never ride a chopper I can't stand the chopper culture is dead it's deader than a doornail it started dying when they when you saw the movie Easy Rider that was the beginning <laughs> of the end of the chopper Bono was uh, in Sag Harbor I have a house in Sag Harbor so Bono is renting a house out there on, while he's on tour. I meet him at the American Hotel. We have a beer. He comes to my house. We're sitting around shooting the crap. And then he's got to go home. He doesn't know where his house is. So I take him in the sidecar. Now I read in the paper the next day, Billy Joel kicked over his chopper <laughs> and took Bono with him. And they roared away into the sunset. It was a scooter with a sidecar. We looked like the Keystone Cops. You know, he had his little helmet. I have him like... <laughs> And we're stopping people in North Haven. I said, where's your house? He goes, I don't know. It's on North Haven Road or something like that. It's near the water. I said, oh, great. Everything's near the water in North Haven. It's where, when, when, let's see. And late in the day, where's the sun? He goes, right in front of the house. Okay, west side. You're on the west side of North Haven. So we're driving around. We're stopping people. Do you know where North Haven Point is? And they're going, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you this? <laughs> Sometimes the smaller... Motorcycles are fun. That's why I enjoy this, the 750s. They're just so easy to handle. Uh, they're light. I just had double hip replacement surgery. I'm, you know, uh, so I, I prefer that. But I, I also like my California vintage. It's, uh, they're just great bikes. I like Italian motorcycles. They're sexy. The Italians build sex into things. Uh, the transverse vibration, you know, is a great, it's a great sensation. Hey, transverse vibration is a great sensation. <laughs> right you can use that. <laughs> Cafe Racer TV is on Discovery HD Theater and Discovery Velocity Networks every Wednesday night at 9. It's a series now in its second season that sort of chronicles the world of Cafe Racer high-performance motorcycles. It just basically follows what my magazine does 
and goes to visit people who build the bikes, race the bikes, sometimes race them illegally on the street to see what's going on with the scene and have a lot of fun with it. Uh, we're doing really well. We're the top rated show in Discovery H HD Theater. Uh, we found out there's a whole world of movement about this bike, these type of bikes uh, from England to Italy to India to Spain, everywhere we go in the United States, Canada, it's just, it's everywhere and we're just amazed by it. Yeah, we had an earthquake today. I missed the whole thing. <laughs>